A pump at the bottom of a 22-meter deep well is used to pump water to a faucet that is one meter above ground. The inner diameter of the faucet opening is one centimeter. The inner diameter of the pipe that's connected to the faucet is 0.7 centimeters. The inner diameter of the pipe at the pump is 2.5 centimeters. If we wish the water to come out of the faucet at two meters per second, how much gauge pressure should the pump provide? And what is the gauge pressure in the 0.7 centimeter diameter pipe right before the faucet? It's a fluid problem, so we're going to use the Bernoulli's equation. And I'm going to call the pump here as 1. Right before the faucet is 2, and at the faucet opening is 3. And let's look at the 1 and the 3 first. Because we have all of the information about 3, we know the pressure at faucet opening, we know the flow speed at faucet opening, and the height at faucet opening. And we can use this information to find the gauge pressure at the pump. Let's see, the P1 is the pressure at the pump. And since we want the gauge pressure, we can say P1 is the atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure at 1 because absolute pressure is atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure. At 1, we have water flowing. So we can use the density of water, 1,000. For V1, we have to find it. We can use the A1V1 equals to A2V2 to find the flow speed. And actually, because we have three of those, it also equals to A3V3. The cross-sectional area at 1 is the pi r squared. The, the diameter is 2.5 centimeters, so the radius is 2.5 divided by 2 times uh, the velocity at 1. And then the a2 is pi times uh, half the diameter, 0.7 centimeters squared. The flow speed over there is v2. At 3, the area is pi r squared, the diameter 1 centimeter divided by 2. And we do know the flow speed at 3, that is 2 meters per second. Notice how I kept the centimeters for the diameters, because as long as I have centimeters squared for all of the area, it is OK. I just have to be consistent with my units. The pi's can cancel, all of the 1 half squared can cancel. So this part over here will give me 2.5 squared, 6.25 times V1 equals to 0.7 squared, that's 0.49 times V2. And that equals to 1 times 2, that equals to 2. This will give us V1 to be 0.32 meters per second, and the V2 is 4.08 meters per second. So I have V1 I can put over here. That's 0.32 squared. At 1, it, if I say this is the ground, then Y is 0. Now let's look at the faucet opening. Since uh, at the faucet opening, the water is touching the atmosphere, so the P3, the pressure over there, is uh, atmospheric pressure. The water is flowing, so the density has to be the water's density 1,000. The flow speed is 2. The density is 1,000. Again, the G is 10. And the height over there is uh, 22 meters plus 1 meter, 23 meters above ground. The atmospheric pressure can cancel, and therefore we can solve for the gauge pressure at the pump. And this will give us a gauge pressure of the pump, 231,950 pascals. To find the gauge pressure right before the faucet, we can look at the 2 and the 3, right before the faucet and the, at the faucet opening. 2 and the 3 has uh, about the same height, so we can just cancel 
the rho g y terms. And then at the 2, we're looking for the gauge pressure. So I can say P2 is PO plus the gauge pressure at 2. Because again, the absolute pressure is the atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure. At 2, the water density 1,000 is flowing at a speed 4.08. And that should equal to the pressure at 3, which is uh, atmospheric pressure because the water is touching the atmosphere at the faucet opening. And the density of water is 1,000 at 3. The water is flowing at 2 meters per second. So PO cancels, and we have enough information to find the gauge pressure at 2 in the pipe right before the faucet. And this will be negative. 6,323 pascals. Now the gauge pressure is negative means uh, the real pressure is uh, or the absolute pressure is below the atmospheric pressure. It's this much lower than the atmospheric pressure. In reality, due to viscosity, etc., a lot higher pump pressure will be needed to provide the same faucet water speed.